Are we all tired of AI yet? Or? <laughs> okay, I promise this one is going to be quite specific. And it's light, it's short. And I want to ask questions, so please be ready, okay? Uh, oh, that's my last one. <laughs> Oh, you got the spoilers, oh! <laughs> okay. Sorry, that's all. <laughs> yeah, okay. First thing, uh, I want to tell you that my slides, they are all kind of help, with a little help of some AI tools, and it's not relevant to talk about them, but I put some notes on there. Can you read it? Yeah, so if you wonder about any of them, you can just ask me later, okay? So, a little bit of background. Uh, my name is Sara. Uh, he said I'm from Norway, but I'm actually from Brazil. And I'm 36 now, and I've been coding since I'm 16. I'm a full stack uh, senior developer, and I'm a created co coder on the side, but apparently I cannot make the all the emojis work, so uh, I have, I started working with WordPress 10 years ago when I moved from Brazil to Norway. And I'm a partner in a company called Guinness Design. And it's probably the northernmost WordPress agency in the world. We are in Tromso, really, really, really up. So Tromso is a very peculiar place. You know, there, is, there are three weird things I want to tell you about my place where I live. They, the first one that we have northern lights all the time, like in winter when it's uh, dark. And we have midnight sun uh, right now, like there's no night, just sun all 24 hours. And the third weird thing is that the European web directive, they were implemented in such a strict way in Norway that uh, it's literally illegal to have an inaccessible uh, website. Any Norwegians here? Okay, you know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, worst case scenarios, you get... Uh, okay. You get 15,000 per day euros to pay. And we saw it happen. You guys remember SAS? Yeah, so it's like there is random controls, but they only make on big companies. So it's not like for everyone, but it's, it's pretty tough. And even though the responsibilities on the companies is always fall on us as agents and content creators. So we at Guinness, we had to like, oh my God, we need to step up our game. Normally accessibility was like our afterthought, but then it became like it had to be part of every step of our process, right? So how do we do that? And do you guys think Nora is exaggerating? Hold the thought, okay. <laughs> uh, let's talk about something fun for change, yeah. Uh, AI. So it, specifically uh, generating AI. So there's like countless of AI tools popping up every day, right? It's like AI can write and can write really good. I heard the, from uh, Yuva, Yuva Noah Harike, that's his name, something like that's really on point that AI is hacking the operationing system of human civilization, which is language, right? So it's, um, yeah, AI can compose music, AI can code, and me as a developer, I think we talk about this today as well, but like, how many developers here have tried Copilot? Yeah. And Copilot together in combination with ChatGPT is like, it's super cool, right? It's amazing. Uh, but uh, yeah, AI can also illustrate. That's like the most uh, fun thing we can do <laughs> with AI for now. And, but can we really see the full picture now? I don't think so, right? Like we, we still like, for sure, it's, it's changing our way of working as designers, developers, and coders, and, and content creators, actually. And, but we cannot actually grasp the capabilities of AI. Even the developers, they are like keeping surprise of 
what, what the outcomes and the speed of their learning. And um, like even to keep up with information, I, I'm sign up for all the newsletters and then for papers and then like, we cannot just read what's going on. Like every day there's news and there's something and then bad, good, you know, so it's, it's, it has this overwhelming feeling, right? It's like we cannot keep up. Do you guys have this feeling too about AI? It's like, who has it? Okay, good. Good, we are on the same page. So that is this frustrating feeling and then this, I cannot keep up with, with, with things that 60% of the global population, they experience every day and they are uh, people with um, uh, advantage, uh, not advantage, uh, uh, disabilities in the world. So it's like 1.3 billion people that might not be able to ask a vital information on a website, for example. And that frustration feeling, you know, that like, come on. Just because we as developers and uh, content creators didn't think about them, you know. So I think that now that we, we have related with the frustration feeling, can we agree that Noro is actually not so wrong on making it really hard, really strict on, with accessibility? Um, yeah, so because we had to like keep up our game and as early adopter, I'm like obsessive with AI. So I thought that I could save you guys some time because AI could help us to, to automatize things and, uh, and make you think faster and then maybe your next project can be a bit more accessible. But first of all, what should we be checking? You know, like you guys know, like all the all the rules, what, we can, what can we check, where to go, and all, the, all the, the areas. So for that, I have a tip for you. And I think they are here. Are they here? It's, it's this open source initiative called AELIY. And there's a, the idea is to make accessibility easier. And they have this check list with everything we need and it's like it's updated if it's needed and it's so well written and easy to understand and also you guys should go check it out so it's like it's super cool and then I'm going to bring you three uh, of my favorite tools powered by AI one for design one for uh, code and one for content to but related to accessibility of course so the first one is design I want to know how many designers are here. Okay, not so many, okay. Uh, do you guys use uh, Figma? Figma, XD, or Sketch? So have you heard about Stark? Okay, just my colleagues, <laughs> because they use. <laughs> so uh, Stark, um, it's, um, it's a plugin you can uh, add on your on your design uh, of choice. And it's gonna, the, the sidekick one, it's a plugin of the plugin, that uh, it scans your design and gives the tips, like normal tips of own, like general contrast and stuff for, for accessibility. But with the AI, it's gonna read it into your context, you know, because it's not um, one, one fits all, especially with design and accessibility. We know that there is just a whole conversation of accessibility and design, it has to be boring. So now it might not need, because we, I am speaking Portuguese, because uh, AI can help you into the context of your own design, you know. So the second one, it's a code. So after you made your design and you, you feel like it's good enough, you can, do a prototype, the coders go there, right? Coders here, okay, yeah. So we, we normally have our way of working that's like you, go, you put the right tags. No, I, I know you guys do it right, so everything's there. But it's still good to test it out, right? So apart from the, all the, the tests that we, we guys know, there is this audition here, which is a, a website, uh, a service that can you can send your link and then they audit and they, they're very specific AI powered tool to 
give you some insights and also with the context of, of your project and give a full report is super good. We test it out, it's amazing. And what I like most on this, it's they come with a WordPress plugin that uh, added out of the box kind of a tool, a toolbar on your website, uh, accessibility menu, kind of we call how we want, that it comes with some specific uh, user needs that we might not remember or of course, the user could have it on its own browser, but what if he, he doesn't? So uh, it would just change the UI of, so, of your web. We don't have to do anything, and it's just going to fix it for them. So I think it's pretty cool. And now a content tip for you guys. Do you know that for your website to be accessible, it needs to be eighth grade level of your content? Do you guys know that? No. So how, how do you know that your content is eighth grade? No. Like, or uh, of course, there is a specific case, but in general, right? But how, how can you check that? You, know? you, you could use a plugin that can uh, be your assistant while you're creating code or creating content. And this is probably how guys heard about this plugin. It's super cute, but it's actually super useful on content creating on, on your website. You, you get like content generator, but you can also has a chatbot that you can just double check like, is this, is this uh, tone good or should I, should I change? Uh, this is my target, should I, should I change my text? Should I change the tone? And one little thing of, that one that I really, really like that they, you can add your own chatbot on your uh, project and you can train your chatbot to just talk about your project to your client. You know, uh, you, you're going to need the API um, key of OpenAI, but if you already use the ChatGPT, you already have a, a login there, so you, you just go and get it. It's not like you don't have to do anything more than that. And this is an example of uh, that chatbot of him, of the, the website of them. And that example reminds me something really important when it's about AI that uh, it's written, I don't know if you can read. Don't believe everything Neil says. So right now we are in, the, in a level of AI that we cannot trust 100%, right? So if you're creating content, please always check the source. And if you are, you don't be afraid of AI take your jobs for now, just saying. And if you are, if you're generating uh, like music or art that it's, uh, you are uh, refer referencing to some style, please check copyrights. And if you are coding, please always check documentation because uh, AI is cool, can be awesome, but it's not the Oracle of Delphi. Ha, you see the, the Greek joke? <laughs> so, but yeah, AI is not out, out that yet, but if there's something that I really believe AI can help us right now is to uh, overcome this gap of accessibility we have in websites that's like, come on, like instead of making AI draw a super new masterpiece, why not ask them to do useful things and be more inclusive, you know? Because, and I really believe our community, WordPress, it's so powerful, you know? So if we work together, we can totally make the internet a more inclusive place, one website at a time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>